Hello, my amazing first grade friends. This week, we are finishing up our color wheel monsters that we started last week, my friends. And last week, many of my artists worked really, really hard and had a fun time ripping up our paper to make our color wheel. This week, friends, we are going to be taking our color wheel off the paper and we are going to be adding different monster features. <gasps> I wonder what different monster features you might add to yours today. So let's go grab our art supplies so we can finish up our color wheel monsters today, my friends. Now, besides your finished color wheel artist, there's actually two more things that I need to take out of my art folder today. The first is a black piece of paper, and the second is a gray piece of paper. These should be the last two pieces that you have in your second quarter art folder, my friends, okay? Now, the gray paper is what we are going to be gluing our color wheel onto. The black paper, and actually the white that's around your color wheel still, is what we're going to use to build our monsters today. So the first thing that I actually need to do is go ahead and cut my color wheel out, so that way I can glue it into the middle of my gray piece of paper. I'm going to do both of these two steps rather quickly, my friends, okay? So that way you can see how it looks. Again, you're cutting out your color wheel, and then you're going to glue it to the middle of your gray piece of paper. Here I go. All right, now that I have my monster's body all cut out and glued down, it's time to start thinking about what I can add to my monster, my friends. Now again, don't throw away this white piece of paper that you just cut your color wheel from because we can use this white, especially on the back, for parts of our monster. But first, artist, I need to tell you the five things that your monster has to have. So I'm going to write them down for you. Ready? The first thing that every monster needs to have is at least one eye. Now, could your monster have more than one eye? Of course. It could have 20 eyes if you wanted. The second thing our monsters have to have is at least one mouth. Again, you could even make more than one mouth if you wanted to. The third thing, we're going to give our monster at least one arm or more than one again if you'd like. And of course, we need to give our monster at least one type of leg. Now, I said five because the last one, the fifth one, is the one that you get to pick. I'm going to leave it blank, but you do have to add one more extra thing. What that extra thing is, is completely up to you. On some of my monsters, I've added things like hair, I've added mustaches, I've given them hats and different types of clothing or jewelry. I could even add teeth if I wanted or a unicorn horn. Now, the last thing that I want to tell you artists is even though I am making a monster, does yours have to be a monster? No, my friends. I've had many friends in the past make other types of animals, such as bears and cats. I've even had some cute little bunnies before. So if you wanted to do something like an animal instead, you could. But again, you have to have these five things on your monster, my friends. Again, at least one eye, one mouth, one arm, one leg, and one thing that you get to pick today, my friends, okay? Now, how am I going to do this? Again, I'm going to use this white piece of paper and this black piece of paper to make the different parts of my creature. I'm going to draw them out first with my pencil, and then I will go ahead and cut them out, put them on my monster, and decide how I want to glue them, okay? I'm going to leave this part, though, completely up to you, friends, though, really, because I want your monster or creature to be as unique and different as you. Again, I just have to make sure I have those five things. So I'm going to speed through this step, and I'm going to show you mine when I'm all done, and I will count with you, friends, the five different things that I put on my monster or creature today. Again, I want you to be brainstorming what you are going to do for your five different parts as well. So... Here I go, my friends. So here's my creature so far, my friends. I haven't done any gluing yet. I just wanted to double check real quickly again. I needed five different things. I see eyes. I see a mouth. I see four arms. I see two legs. And I even see both teeth and a unicorn horn which means I've actually done at least six different things on my creature. And notice, nothing is in pencil, such as those eyes. I cut them out, 
and I'm going to be gluing them down. Now, how did I do it so quickly, artist? Well, you remember back to our penguins when I showed you the trick of folding your paper and then drawing it once and cutting it once? I folded my paper to make things like my eyes and my arms and even my feet, teeth, and pupils, the centers of your eye. Because I knew I wanted more than one thing, I folded my black or white paper first, drew the thing that I wanted, and when I cut it out, I had two, three, or even four things that I was cutting out, and they ended up being the same. So now all I have to do is decide if I like where all these parts are, or if I want to play around with them a little bit more, cut them a little bit more, and then once I'm happy with how my monster looks, I can glue all of my pieces down. Now again, I'm going to go ahead and speed up that part. That way you friends can see how my monster might look once he's all, or she, is all glued together now, my friends. So here is my creative monster that I chose to make this time, my friends. Remember, everyone's monster can be as unique and as different as you decide, so long as you have those five different parts of your monster as well. Now, obviously, I have some cleaning up to do artists, and you might too. But don't forget, now that our art project is finished, I need you to take a photo of it and turn it in on either Seesaw or on Artsonia. I can't wait to see what kind of cool creative monster or creature you all decide to make as well. I'll say goodbye for today and as always, have fun creating my friends.